Simeon. I am the Partnership Coordinator at the Chattahoochee Nature Center, and I'm so glad you joined us today. Last week, Mr. Tom showed you all about the importance of a nature journal and how that's one of the tools of a naturalist. Today, I brought with my nature journal. Besides the nature journal, another great tool we have is our senses. Today, I wanna to focus on our sense of touch. So here I am in my backyard in an area where I've got a lot of different trees. And one way we can learn about all these different trees is through the sense of touch. So I'm gonna to encourage you today to go ahead and find a tree, go on up to it, feel that bark. Because each tree's bark is gonna feel different. And that's gonna help you figure out what kind of tree you're looking at. After you're done feeling the bark of different trees, go ahead and record that in your nature journal. Now, I'm not super great at sketching, so one way I record, especially when I want to capture texture, is by doing a tree rubbing. So I'm gonna actually take a page out of my notebook, and then I'm gonna use, you can use um, a colored pencil if you want. Colored pencils I find um, are a little bit harder, but they do work. The best thing to use for a rubbing is to take a crayon and you're gonna remove this wrapper so that you end up getting something that looks like this. And we're gonna use the side of the crayon to do our rubbing. And it's a lot of fun. You go up to a tree, you put your paper up against it, and then you start to rub. doing that you can see I've now captured the texture of this tree and I can go around now to all the different trees do tree rubbings go back write my notes for my nature journal all my questions all the details I want to remember I'll put it back in my journal and then I can go ahead and look up that information to help me figure out what kinds of trees I'm looking at so thank you for joining us today it gives you a little bit of a chance to get outside and get your nature on